Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at my favorite place ever, Raising Cane's. I was craving it so badly. I crave it at least once a week. I like need it. Cane sauce is basically my blood by this point. <laughs> it's seriously the best sauce ever. But we are getting the large cup of cane sauce because I just ran out of mine. So I guess I got canes like two weeks ago. I always get the large cup of sauce because I like to use it at home. I dip my my heart shape and dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets in it. <laughs> no, seriously, I went through a whole bag of the Dyson or Tyson, Dyson, Tyson, not Dyson. Uh, shoot, what is it? Tyson. They had heart-shaped chicken nuggets for Valentine's Day, and I ate the whole bag, like a massive bag of them, in like a week. <laughs> I came home one night, and I made like 20 of them in the air fryer, and used a ton of the cane sauce, mm. and cane sauce on homemade burgers is so good. Very, very good. So, and then I also saved some questions that I asked you guys on my Instagram, so we're going to do a little Q&A. But I was debating on if I should get the chicken sandwich along with the chicken fingers so I could try the chicken sandwich. I've only ever had it once. Or should I just get like my basic? Should we try it? I feel like I'm gonna definitely like just the chicken fingers better because that's what I always get. Hmm, do we get it? I don't know yet. I can't decide. Bippity boppity boo, which canes combos for you? Thanks for switching lanes and choosing canes. What can I get for you? I wonder what slogan they're gonna say to me today. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. And then I'll get water because water bottles are sold out everywhere. And I've been wanting water bottles. I haven't noticed anything from like where I'm at about from the train explosion. I know I've gotten that question a few times because I'm only an hour away. I don't notice anything different in like the smell or water where I'm at, but it's very bad. I've seen lots of videos online of the water and that's terrifying and like so gross that they said like that's okay to drink. Like clearly it's not. Okay, let's listen everyone. I love this. I love hearing this. Yo, 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 want some chicken to go? Hi, can I do the three finger combo? What the drink? I'll do a bottled water, and then can I also get just the chicken sandwich? Okay. And then I'll do the 32 ounce cup of sauce, please. Okay. And that's it. Okay, it's gonna be 23, 27 with the first one. Okay, thank you. The big cup of sauce. You know, at first I used to be embarrassed ordering stuff, but embarrassment is not a real thing. It's really not. Why am I embarrassed? Because I like the sauce? No, that's not embarrassing. The sauce is freaking good. I said that on my story the other night. How I don't think embarrassed. Someone asked me, like, are you embarrassed posting what you do online, like with people from my high school and people I know watching? I'm like, no, why would I care? I don't care at all. <laughs> I'm always going to post what I want. And if someone doesn't like it or if they want to make fun of it, none of my business. Like, that's whatever. I'm going to always do what I want. And yeah, embarrassing is, is kind of like a waste of a feeling. Like if, even if I trip, like I'm really not embarrassed. I kind of just laugh. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Cause I'm always tripping in stores. Not like falling on the ground. <laughs> then I, no, I think it would be like more like funny. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like trip over my, my toes a lot. It's cause my Ugg boots are thick. Hi. It's going to be 23, Okay. Gotcha, thank you. The Ugg boots are like gino, g ginormous space shoes, so it's hard not to like trip. Thank you. Yeah, you. You too. Thank you. I'm starving. It's 3:30. So this morning I had some overnight oats, which the recipe is on my Snapchat and foodie Instagram page. But 
Follow me on Snapchat if you're not. I seriously post the most on there. It's just like the easiest. I don't know. And I like the filters. It's all just like fun. Um, but I'm always snapping. So I shared this overnight oats recipe and I had that for breakfast with a big cup of coffee because I had this phone call and I hate phone calls, you guys know. But whenever I'm drinking coffee, it just makes me like enjoy it. I don't know why. Same with like shopping. It's more fun with the coffee. So then I had a big iced coffee and I was like shaking in my boots. <laughs> like literally because of all the sugar that I put in my coffee. And because I was hungry. So I finally made it over to Kane's. I was actually going to do a video trying Texas Roadhouse's appetizers today. All of their appetizers. They didn't open until 3.30 which right now it's 3.40. I didn't open until 3, but 3.30 was the soonest time you could pick. And, but I just really wanted Cane's. I'll do that video soon because I do want to try all their appetizers. I've been hearing lots of good stuff about them. Just turn the camera back on. They are busy today. This is the longest I've probably waited in a Cane's line. Usually they're like, boom, boom, boom. Why won't that go down? Hi. Do you want any ketchup? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Here you are. Have a great day. You too. Mmm. Copper cane sauce. They probably look at me. I wonder how many people do that. <laughs> do you think I'm like the only person that comes around and do does that? So like when I go through the drive-thru and order, they're like, yep, we know that stuff Pappas. <laughs> that would be really funny. Starbucks knows it's me whenever I come through because I order the same thing every single time. Okie dokie. Yum! So we'll try the sandwich and then we'll answer some questions that I saved. Also guys, you can now join to be a member on my channel which gives you access to early videos access to like private messages from me on the community page special emojis that I created there are my dogs and like my favorite foods it's only five dollars a month but the join button is like by the subscription button mmm ooh crispy gorgeous beautiful and then let's see what this chicken sandwich looks like oh Oh wow. Okay, that looks great. Look at that. It's huge. Very big. Look at my cup of sauce. Okay, I'm gonna dip a chicken finger in it. And we're taking our thumbnail with the chicken completely coated. So I'm gonna do a big dunk. Mmm. It's hot on my fingers. <sighs> Mmm. <laughs> Nothing better. Nothing better. Mmm. Woo, those are burning hot. Burning hot. Oops. Okay, so the first question I got was would I ever consider going on The Bachelor? Me and my friends were watching The Bachelor the other day, and they all were like, I would be perfect for this show. And they kind of convinced me, and I applied. You had to like attach your social media links and everything, and also write a paragraph on like why you want to be on it, which I, I didn't write too much, just because I didn't really feel like it. Some people might write like a whole story on like why this and that. I just said basically because <laughs> I said a little something. I said my friends all agree, think think I should go on. I'd be a good candidate, um, ready to settle down, looking for a real relationship, like something like that. But yeah, so we'll see if they pick me. I don't know if I would actually like say yes though. If they like sent me a letter 
I don't know. Like, I don't know if I could compete and, like, try and win a guy over. Like, I don't... Like, how everyone just, like, fights over the same guy and is dating the same guy. I don't know if I could do that. It would definitely be a cool... A cool thing to do. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I would, I would get too jealous and I would, like, start a fight. <laughs> Let me take a snap of my big cup of sauce so I can put it on Snapchat. <laughs> the massive 32 ounce. I can't believe this thing is only uh, $5 though. I feel like that's a great deal. Next question. What are those donut things on your dog's collars? Those are air tags, Apple air tags, so I can track them. Oops. Mm. The best toast ever. It's nice and crispy. They're both microchipped also. But yeah, I just like having an air tag on them. So if they're in my backyard, I just know for sure that they like are in there and didn't sneak out of the fence or something. I do usually watch though, but why not? How are you feeling now that it's been a few months since your dad passing? I admire you and your fam. Thank you. You know, it's still so hard and it still is like unbelievable to me. Like I cannot believe it's already been five months. Like I can't believe it. It doesn't seem real. It like also feels like forever since I've seen him. And I mean, we still like cry every day. It's very sad and it's so unfair. Like, cause it just shouldn't have happened. Like it's just so unfair. Um, but Obviously, I'm not going to film myself being upset, this and that. So even though you see someone smiling online and being all happy, you never know what someone's going through behind cameras or outside of seeing someone for a little bit of time. So that's why you should always be nice to everyone because it might look like I'm like completely fine but like I mean I don't have any other choice but to try my best and that's what I'm doing but yeah I'm, I still will cry all the time and I can't even I can't even really watch old videos and look at photos because it just makes me like melt down but the only thing to do is keep trying and hopefully we get justice soon because it's been a while, and I will tell you guys everything once I'm able to. Okay. How do you stay so positive all the time? Honestly, dang it, I got cane sauce on my pants. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, let's try this chicken sandwich, too. Um, you know, you really don't know how long you have on Earth. And how long anyone around you has on earth so I think there's really no time to be negative and like unhappy like my dad was the most positive nice person ever that's why it's so unfair because like the best people always have to be the ones taken from us but he was the nicest person you could never make him mad like ever and yeah, like you just should live positively and happy because you don't know when your life can be taken. Just like a snap of a finger, something could happen. So that's my advice on that. Why does the chicken taste different on here? Ew. Is that like raw or something? Why does it taste weird? There's barely any sauce.
It's kind of dry with the bun. To be honest, I don't like this. I'm going to take the chicken fingers off of that and make a wrap for lunch like tomorrow because I really don't like that. Something tasted weird. I don't know if it's the lettuce or what. It doesn't taste like the chicken fingers that are in this box. Ooh, the heat is on high. It's getting a little warm. Got these warm chickies on my lap. <laughs> okay, next question. Will you ever get another Frenchie? <laughs> don't tempt me. Honestly, I would love one. I would love to get another one. One day, I think I will. I do think I will. If I ever come upon one, but I feel like three just seems like the perfect number. Like three cute little Frenchies. Like I love them with all my heart. It's so cute watching them play too. Like two is definitely way better than one. Um, it is more work, yes, but it's so much better. Watching them like play and cuddle, it's so freaking cute. So, to get a third, it would be definitely more work to have someone babysit three dogs if I go somewhere. Putting three dogs in the car. Three different vet appointments. Well, once they're like not a puppy, they don't have to go to the vet that often. Like once a year or if they like are sick or something, but it's just the puppy. When it's a puppy, you have to take it like once a month. And they would take up my entire bed. Hershey, Hershey and Mochi already do take up my entire bed. <laughs> but I would love a black and white Frenchie named Oreo. That's like what I can see in the, the future. I just found out I have dermographia. I am 22 and I'm really struggling. Any advice? Girl, you gotta see a doctor. Go see a, a skin doctor or an allergy doctor. They'll prescribe you. Or I take Allegra and Pepsid every day. So you could try that. But yeah, it definitely sucks having that skin disease. My hives are every day nonstop. If I don't take my medicine, I'm so itchy. Like I can't. Like I literally can't. They'll be all over my body and I'll be scratching my skin off. It's definitely like the worst thing ever because there's not like a cure and like the medicine doesn't even work a hundred percent. There's like nothing you could do. That's what my doctor said to me when I went in. He's like, this is the biggest thing patients are like most unhappy with because they don't really have an answer. Like they don't know what causes it or anything. Would you ever move together with your mom? Miss seeing in your, you and your dad together. I miss being in it. I miss hanging out with him as well. Um, uh, no, I don't plan on moving. I live really close to my mom. I'm only like 15 minutes away. We're with each other a lot. We will make dinner together, go out to lunch, go out to breakfast, but I lived, I lived on my own for two years now and I need my office space I need my kitchen when I'm filming I'm filming like non-stop and like I, no one can be with me if I'm filming oh if you film in TikToks I try and post on TikTok once a day I've been posting on my vlog channel three times a week and then I'm also live on Twitch a lot I'm always making Snapchats where I'm just talking, and then now I'm on Twitch all the time. I am like pretty busy, and I do need my own space. And I love living alone now that I have, but don't worry, we're very close. And we can hang out whenever. I'm not gonna move away from her. But if anything, I'm not really happy where I'm living now because I'm 30 minutes away from where the accident happened. 
and I have to drive by it every day and I can just see it happening in my head when I drive by and like hearing the phone call on repeat in my head every time I drive past that spot it's so close like if you looked out my window you would basically see where it happened at and there's like a little cross on the side of the road like I hate driving on that road because I'm terrified now like I'm just very scared and it just brings like horrible memories and thoughts in my head so I'm really not happy with where I'm at right now but I would never live move far away from my mom mmm why is this bread so good I bet Texas Roadhouse rolls would be good in here. <laughs> I got two cups. I know I missed my table. I still don't have one. But I mean, I feel like I've been filming fine without my table. But look, I spilled on my pants. Hopefully that comes out. I was supposed to meet my friend at the nail salon after this. I was going to get my toes done, but I'm, it's winter. It was super warm. It was like 70 degrees the other day, so I got like excited, but I checked the weather. It's not warming up. <laughs> do you want to do YouTube collabs on your channel? Um... I'm not really a huge fan of collabs, honestly. I feel like some people are very fake or only want to collab for views and like for benefits of themselves. I don't know. I'm not about just like, let's film just for views. I'll film if we're like friends. Like I'd rather become friends first, then I'd be happy to film. But just like to meet up with someone just to film, I don't know. I feel like it's just like kind of fake. And some of the big YouTubers that I have met, I think are pretty fake. Um, I'm not gonna say names, but... Some big ones that like live in Ohio. <laughs> There's only a few, so... Take that as you will. <laughs> One's a family too. But I love meeting other influencers that are like my friends. Like when I went to LA, I finally got to hang out with Jordan, my friend Jordan Jones, and we had so much fun. And I miss her. I can't wait to go back and get to hang out again. She took me to all the good spots in LA. <laughs> and we got our $20. Wait, was it Haley Bieber smoothie? Or was it no, Bella Hadid, Hadid right? Oh my gosh, was it the Haley Bieber smoothie? I can't remember whose smoothie that is. Bella Hadid. I feel like it might be her, but Haley. Her and Kylie are being mean girls, like bullying Selena. Nuh uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Now, TikToks I'm seeing of her like doing everything Selena does is absolutely crazy. Like really crazy. <laughs> like complete copying. It's very weird. Very. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you do. But Selena posted a, a video like laughing about it, how she accidentally laminated her eyebrows too high, too much up, you know? And she was like, she knew. It's not like she was like, oh, look how good my eyebrows look. She's like, oh gosh, look at my eyebrows. And then Kylie and Haley like posted stories mocking her. They both posted like a zoomed in photo of their eyebrows, like their nicely done eyebrows. And said like, how is that an accident? Like what? That's so rude. Unless it was just a coincidence, but. <laughs> I don't think Kylie would ever just do that. You know, post a picture of her eyebrows saying that was an accident, question mark. 
I don't know. I've seen lots of videos of her and Justin, though. Justin seems to not be, like, happy in that relationship. You never know, though. He could be going through other things mentally. But... Yeah, you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes, but he doesn't look like the happiest with her. Especially the clip. It was like an award show. And they, someone said Taylor Swift and she's like, eh. I'm like, what? Even if I didn't like an artist, I would never do that. <laughs> I would like keep it to myself that I don't really like them. Mm -mm -mm. I'm full, honestly. Probably those overnight oats. Those fill you up for a while. I was very hungry, though. But if you want the recipe to those overnight oats, yum. Check out my Steph's Mules page. But that was very good. Definitely the chicken combo box is the best. I don't know anyone that gets the chicken sandwich, but yeah, it wasn't really for me. It tasted kind of weird. I don't know why. Is it the bun? No, it's not the bun. Is it the lettuce? I don't really want to bite into that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to let those chicken fingers go to waste. Don't worry. I got a whole cup of cane sauce to eat for my next <laughs> lunch. Ooh, yeah, a wrap with lettuce in it. These chicken fingers and the sauce and cheese. Ooh, yeah. When I make that tomorrow, I'll put it on my Snapchat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A. Cane's muck, mucky muck. And let me know what you want to see next. I am going to go to Texas Roadhouse soon and try all the appetizers. Let me know if there's another place you want me to do that at. Cheesecake Factory would be good. I'm like an hour from the Cheesecake Factory, but I'd always be down to head that direction. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.